Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. On the screen, you can see the simulation of a differentiator circuit. Observe the structure and various components used here like resistor and capacitor and the flow of current in this circuit. In this differentiator circuit, you see there is a resistor in the feedback and a capacitor at the input end. This is an active differentiator. In an active differentiator, we use an amplifying device. Okay, here it is the operational amplifier, OPEM, as an amplifier, and it is in inverting mode. You see, since we know that it has two terminals, this is negative and positive, and and uh, if the voltage supplied is at the negative terminal, then we say that it is in inverting configuration it is an inverting mode okay and this resistor has been applied in the feedback path okay you can see the waveform also that uh, if we apply the triangular waveform to the differentiator then in the output we will get the square waveform i will also explain you the reason why on applying triangular at the input voltage to the differentiator we get uh, square wave at the output so what is a differentiator actually so a differentiator is simply a circuit that is designed in a way that uh, the output of the circuit is nearly directly proportional to the rate of change of the input that is the time derivative of the input okay uh, we also have another kind of uh, passive differentiator circuit this is the active differentiator as i told you earlier because it uses some form of amplifier here open but in case of passive differentiator, we use only resistors and capacitors to uh, design the differentiator. Okay. Now observe here. This is uh, you should also know that this is an uh, ideal differentiator. It is not practical differentiator, since it is a differentiator. So it is uh, certain that uh, it is obvious that it will differentiate the input. The output voltage will be the differentiation, the time derivative of this input voltage so what is the relationship between this input voltage and output voltage let me write this uh, relationship so let's see the relationship here the relationship is v out is equals to minus rc dv in by dt that is v out let's denote this v out as uh, v naught this is the output voltage this output voltage is equals to minus of rc okay what is r r is the resistance that we have applied in the feedback path and c is this at the input okay r into c and dv in by dt if i denote the input voltage by v in voltage let's write it as v input okay so dv input by dt the time derivative of the input voltage so here is the relationship okay this is what this is the differentiation you see here that we have differentiated the input voltage with respect to time to get the output voltage since it is a differentiator here you can see that this output voltage is proportional to the time derivative of the input voltage and this opm acts here as an differentiator here rc is the gain of this and uh, observe the negative sign here what does this negative sign implies actually this uh, negative sign indicates that uh, there is 180 degrees phase shift in the output with respect to the input okay the input voltage that uh, we have applied here will have a phase shift of uh, 180 degrees okay in the output so there is a phase difference of 180 degrees in the input and output voltage here you should also understand that that this equation is uh, true for any frequency signal okay as i have already told you that uh, this is uh, an ideal uh, differentiator using operational amplifier but uh, there are some limitations of this uh, ideal opm like uh, this differentiator circuit becomes unstable and it starts to oscillate okay at high frequencies and also it becomes uh, very sensitive to noise at high frequencies 
so when it is amplified this noise starts to dominate the message signal so to overcome these uh, limitations of the ideal uh, differentiator we use a practical differentiator in practical differentiator what we do we add a capacitor in the feedback in parallel to this resistor we add a capacitor at this place okay and also a resistor at the input side in series with this capacitor so we add a resistor here and a capacitor in parallel to it okay so that we can eliminate the limitations that uh, I, uh, I told you about the ideal operational amplifier now I will tell you why this uh, when we apply this triangular waveform to the input we get a square waveform because what is these uh, square waveforms square waveforms are nothing but the simply a combination of uh, positive and negative step signals okay we have a positive step signal and then a negative then positive and a negative so this is a combination of these step signals positive and negative and uh, this is what triangular waveform is nothing but the combination of ramp signals positive and negative ramp signals as I know that uh, if I differentiate the ramp signal then I get a step signal in another words if I integrate the step signal I will get the ramp signal okay and if it is positive then because of this negative sign since it is 180 degree phase difference between input and output voltages so positive uh, ramp signal on differentiation will give us negative step signal okay and vice versa we have studied in the integrator uh, in my previous lecture that if I apply a square waveform at the integrator I will get in the output the triangular waveform because the integration of the square waveform that is the integration of uh, step signals is a, is a ramp signal so I get the opposite uh, waveform that I got uh, from the integrator in this case so this integrator and differentiator are uh, opposite to each other that is if I integrate the output of this differentiator that is uh, I'm here I'm getting a square waveform then if I use this square waveform as the input to the integrator then I will get the ramp signal uh, I will get the triangular wave in the output so it converts the square uh, the integrator converts the square wave back into the triangular form so I hope you liked the video this was all about uh, the differentiator that I wanted to tell you in this uh, simulation video for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and if you liked it please like and share this video and do not forget to subscribe the channel see you guys in the next video with more such kind of videos thank you for watching have a nice day take care Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog, 
see you soon in the next video till then bye bye